And so now that you know what happened, let's talk about what comes next. The focus may soon shift back to the charges against former President Donald Trump. A jury expected to eventually have their say at trial. That's right, and Jennifer, we know seating a jury can be difficult in any case, let alone one of the most high-profile cases in the country. So can it be done? We sent the Love and the Lives Caitlin Ross out to find out. She's live tonight with that. Caitlin. Jonathan and Jennifer, Fulton County jurors have their own parking lot here downtown. They have their own restroom and break rooms inside the courthouse. They even have their own entrance to get in the building. But for this case, are there going to be any potential jurors who want to walk through those doors? The trains come every six minutes at the Lindbergh Marta station. Seating a jury in the election interference case against former President Donald Trump could take a lot longer than that. 10 years, yeah, it's going to be hard to find people who haven't been, haven't followed any of what's going on. People riding Marta Friday told us they don't envy the attorneys who will have to comb the county to find them. It's going to be impossible, but they're paid to do that and they do it all the time. Jury consultant Madeline Somerville thinks Fulton County could call 900 potential jurors if the former president goes to trial. So I think it's going to be easier than folks think. She says the attention on the case will make it difficult, but not impossible to find an impartial jury. The qualifying factor for whether or not someone can sit on a jury is one, whether they come in leaning already one direction or another, and two, whether they've prejudged the facts and evidence of the case. Both the defense and the prosecution can dismiss as many jurors as they want for perceived bias in the case. So she says most juries end up right down the middle. You end up with quite a moderate jury. And what's really cool is in every jury that I've ever talked to afterwards, they tend to take it really seriously. Like they really care about their job and doing it right. And so that restores a little bit of faith in the justice system. Need some proof? We found someone today who told us he would be happy to hear the case. I'd love to be on the jury. You know, yeah, I wouldn't mind because there's a lot of truths and a lot of facts and stuff that's involved. And um, yeah, it'd be, it'd be interesting. So that guy's optimistic, but let's look at the evidence. The other high profile RICO case being tried in Fulton County right now, the YSL case, it took 10 months to seat that jury. So how long is it going to take if this case goes to trial? Nobody knows. Yeah, we don't know, but we'll be keeping everyone posted. Caitlin Ross, thanks so much. And we will continue to follow all of the latest updates on this case. If you missed our analysis right after the judge issued his ruling this morning or after special prosecutor Nathan Wade stepped down, you can rewatch all of the coverage right now on 11 Alive Plus. It's available on all of your streaming devices.